Hi, and welcome to Family Sociology. I'm going to do an overview, an orientation, if you will, to Blackboard, where I put things, where everything is, and how to do some of the functional things you'll need to do in this course. This is a required video that I really encourage you to watch. There's a quiz, as the announcement indicates, that's worth 5%. It's in week three. Now, if you come down, you see here the quiz orientation. You can click on this link, and it'll take you directly to the quiz. Or you can navigate to weekly learnings and then go to week three and the, the quiz will be in there. But I want to show you a few things. One, how to contact me. Just go up to the contact information. There's my email. And I've indicated that I can meet with you upon request using either WebEx or MS Teams. I've also indicated that in order to get a response from me in uh, from an email, it must have a subject. It must reference which class of mine you're in. I teach four different classes, and if you ask me about the assignment, I'm not sure which class you're speaking of. And I need your full name, your first and last name. Okay, those are two things, or three things that absolutely must be in an email. If you've emailed me and I don't respond, check to see that you've, you've done those three things. Okay? Now the main bulk of almost everything else we're gonna do is rate right in weekly learnings. And I organize this not unlike what we do within our syllabus. For the most part, it's going through week one, two, three, four, five, and so on. But I want to show you a few things here that are important to your doing your assignment and completing this course. And the first will be in this group zone. Now, I, you, you might want to wonder where your wiki is or, you know, if you've read the assignment before you've seen this video. But here I've put all your resources that you're going to need for the assignment in assignment resources. And there's your scenario. The Bill and Ann scenario is in this one. Here you have the quintal information, the tables that I've created from StatsCan data from 2016. Here's the Canada Food Guide resources. It's both the PowerPoint and the Food Guide itself. And then the last bit is some information around patterns and consequences of poverty. Now you'll need these to help with your assignment. So if we go back to the group zone, now what you won't be able to see very well here is where your wiki is. So I'm going to do something with the Blackboard shell. I'm showing you a student view. This is what you would see. It's not what I would see. I'm going to get out of the student view. And I have a few more tools here than you have, which is why I can post things and such. But I want to show you, if you go down to groups, you'll see all the groups here. Now you'll access them from the group zone, but I am not a member of your groups. And so in a student view, I can't see, I can't sort of walk you through a group because if I try to get in, it says I'm, I can't because I'm not a member. So I'm just going to open up group one. And what you're going to see is everyone gets the same information up here and the members will be different, but I've mentioned there's your file exchange. So when you post your documents for your final assignment, they get put here. You go to add the file. You label it, you can call it, you know, your family sociology quintal assignment. And then you go and browse your local files, find that file, the PDF. Only I accept PDF documents only. So please, um, I'll show you when we get through this, uh, when we navigate further into Blackboard, where you can find the video on how to make a PDF document. So you just browse the files, look for that PDF document that's your assignment, and then post it here when you submit it that PDF file will, will be there. I will be able to access um, your files from there. So if I go back to group one, I mentioned that there was a wiki. Now the wiki is just a place where if you need a place to work or to communicate with one another, this is one option you can create. And what you just keep doing is creating, it's kind of like a, a, a place where you can chat back and forth and you can post documents for each other to work with and that kind of thing. It's helpful. It's not required. It's just one tool that I thought might be useful. Each other's email is here and there's a, there's a place that if you want to take advantage of group tasks, you can and weekly learnings. Okay. So that's the group zone. That's where you uh, can access your groups. It's also where your group resources are. Now, the syllabus and assignments. This should be one of the first places you go. 
here you will find your syllabus. I make a video for everything. So um, there's your syllabus in PDF format. That's the video that walks you through the syllabus and I'll tell you some of the important things about your syllabus. Here you find your assignment and your group contract. Now you, when you read the assignment and watch the video, you'll understand what the significance of the group contract is and what the due date is. And then there's journals that we'll be doing. And there's a video and there's your document. Whoops, it'll look just like that. <laughs> Oops, I'll close that. And then your course um, outline is down at the bottom here. And this is basically our agreement, if you will, our contract between the college and you as to what you'll be covering and what the distribution of marks will be. So you need to download and print these. Now I would highly recommend you print your, your syllabus. You know, you open it up and scroll down and there's the week to week what we'll be doing. I want you to be taking these dates, <laughs> sorry, these dates here and putting them in a calendar so that you don't forget when things are open and when things are closed. Okay, because once they're closed, you won't be able to see the test or the journal and therefore it will have gone and that opportunity is gone. So let's have a look at some of the other things that I've put here. As I mentioned, there's some tips and information or support videos. So I'm going to go quickly to support videos. There's some good online success tips. These have been based on some of the experience I've had in teaching online and they're very useful. In it will include um, how to ensure that your Wi-Fi is at its best. And that's important. It's also looking at the importance of time management, which is probably the best thing. Now, one of the things about Wi-Fi that's important to note is the more devices that you have connected to your Wi-Fi at home, the less strength your Wi-Fi has. So the best way to ensure you have the best connection in order to do your online work without interruption of a dropped Wi-Fi is to connect to the router directly with a hard wire. That way you won't have dropped Wi-Fi. So how to make a PDF document right here, either a PC or a Mac, either one can make a, a, piece, uh, a PDF document. And I mentioned about how important it is to put things into a calendar. Your device, phone, iPad, tablet, all have calendars. I've made a video on how to use your device, how to make a um, an event and, and set up your your uh, your device to give all your due dates in it. Now, certainly, you don't have to use a device. You can obviously use paper, and then I would put it up on either your your refrigerator door or your bathroom mirror. These are two places you're very likely to be first thing in the morning, so you'll see them. Now, there's also a bit of some information on tips and information on online learning. I encourage you that if you're uncertain about what to expect, this these resources might be of some help to you. Now, week one, essentially it's saying here we have a video, part one and two, and Blackboard Overview. I am making that video right now, that's what you're watching, and it'll be located in week one and in the announcement that you saw at the very beginning. So in here, you'll find some resources. Um, then we go to week two. I want to show you a few things that you'll need to know. One is in week two, I've put a journal in. This journal is in week two. I've opened it right now so I can do this. It will be closed when you get access because it's not open right away. But what you'll do is you click on it. I've given some instructions, I've offered a couple of videos, and then when it's time to make your entry after you've watched the videos, click on Create a Journal Entry. Now the little asterisk here, it means you need to give it a title. Just call it Journal 1 or Journal 2 or Journal 3 or Journal 4, you get the idea. And then this is where you will type your three paragraphs minimum for your reflection on the videos. Now not three sentences, three paragraphs, and it's not a right or wrong thing. It's just really just be thorough, complete, be thoughtful. Um, and the, the marks uh, are, are based on that. Not, they're not based on right or wrong. Okay. So let's cancel out of there. And we'll come back to weekly learning. Now, in week three, I mentioned that you have an orientation quiz. That's due to be completed by February 5th. 
at no later than 5 p.m. You can open it at any time in week three here until February 5th at 5 p.m. At 5.01, this will disappear and it's no longer available for you to do. It's worth 5%, so I'd really encourage you to do it. All you really have to do is click. There's the instructions. There's the due date. You start and begin, and one question at a time will pop up. You answer it. You'll get some feedback. You can do this test as many times as you want for a maximum. I don't even know how many. I think I've left it open for 180 um, minutes, so there's plenty of time, up to five different attempts if you'd like, until that close date. And then the highest grade is going to be kept for you. All right? Your tests that we will do regularly will look just like that, only, of course, they will be content-specific. Okay, I think I've touched on all the things that I wanted to touch on. Um, I want you to know that as, as long as... If you're needing anything, please email me. Use the email protocol correctly, and I will respond very quickly. I'm very good at responding quickly. Um, I hope this semester goes well. I will say here and now that at the beginning of this semester, um, my software that I used to make my videos and the lighting took a bit of a, a dive. So you'll find that some the first couple of weeks of videos that I tried to get up didn't turn out as well as I had aimed. So they will get better as I get new software. So take it easy. Enjoy the class. I hope you'll have fun. I look forward to the class. And um, we'll try to get together in some way and interact. Maybe that's through MS Teams or through WebEx. All right, everybody. You take it easy. Good luck. And I look forward to uh, this semester with you. Bye now.